guys, I want to share with you how I'm decorating the door that's behind my desk. Um, so it is the Better Than Paper Bulletin Board Roll. I got this at Lakeshore. You all sign up for their emails and stuff, uh, text messages, and then they give uh, discounts all the time. So I tried cutting the bottom of it. It's really nice. Um, I tried cutting the bottom with scissors. It did not cut very, or actually this was an X-Acto blade. It was not very sharp and it did not work. Um, so I ended up using this uh, paper cutter blade from the scrapbooking board I have and it works magic. So I'm going to share with you really quick. Let me switch hands here. So I'm just grabbing because it has a little blade there at the end. I'm just grabbing it, coming and bring it straight down and it's cutting fairly nicely. I'm going a little crooked, but it definitely um, works better and I love it. I'm loving it so far. So I just want to share that with you and then I show, I'll show you how the process is going um, as we get there. Okay, so now that I've covered the wall, and then let me share with you this little, seriously love this. I was like, how am I going to get that perfect? There's no way I'm not going to be able to do it, but look, I cut pretty close. So I used this blade for a, from a paper scrapping um, paper cutter. And then I just, um, let me put this down, and I just kind of guided this around, and it has a, a little base like this, so I just kind of literally went around the circle, and it was amazing. Love it. Then I put some double-sided stick tape here underneath, and then now what I'm doing is I'm going over the edge, as you see here, with the scotch, Let's see if it'll focus there, if you can focus, maybe, no, yes, there, the scotch um, masking tape from ex, uh, Expressions is the line. So I'm going all the way around the edges just to get, because I left a little bit on the edge of the door, but just to get nice, uh, nice finish. And then that way the paper doesn't peel. It is masking tape and it is the kind of paper, uh, painter's tape. So it's not going to damage the door when I remove it. I love this tape and they, have, they come different, in different colors. So that's what I like about it too. All right, okay, so do y'all see this little thing here? When I took the tape off the roll, I kind of peeled. So you won't be able to see it from far. I know it's there, it's bothering me, but I didn't realize I was trying to get a nice clean line to start. But I'm just gonna take a dry erase marker because I don't know where my big permanent markers are. And I just colored it in. Doing this with one hand. So just bringing this down halfway, pushing it in, pulling pressing and then folding over and there you have your nice edge okay guys so the door and I just realized there was something behind this door I've got to take that down that was left behind but the door is brown and it looks like that right so if I wanted to put something on it you definitely will see that's kind of how it would look right so check this out with this awesome roll of poster, look. Now I have a black door and it matches the black tabletop, the uh, refrigerator, microwave, the chair, and then I'm gonna put border around that. Look at the difference. Brown, hang on, let me zoom out. Black, brown. So I might even do it to that, I'm so excited. Love how it so let's talk borders. I have this gold. Well, I had tons of different borders in here, but I have this. I love the texture of this gold one. Too cute, but it's kind of like a shiny, more light yellow gold, and this is more like a matte type of gold, more like, a, I don't know, nicer gold, more elegant, I guess you can say. And then I have this scallop, um, one here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the gold on the outside and then I, and i got these at lakeshore and then i'm gonna put the black on the inside like that so i'm gonna have a gold border uh straight edge and then i'll have the scalloped edge right on top of that and i'm not sure if i'm gonna use the restickable mounting uh squares from or tops from scotch or just the black scotch um Tape, the painter's tape. I'm sorry, the expressions tape. So that will let's play with that a little bit. Alright, so far, so we have 
the gold and the black frame loving it so far so what I'm doing is I am pre-measuring my strips I had to put two pieces together here on this one and then I'm putting my expression scotch tape on the back of it because I can't hole punch it or tack it or anything to the wall so that I don't mess up the frame and pre-taping pre pre-measuring and then sticking it up all right guys there we have it let me scoot back because depending on where you stand and the camera doesn't do it justice honestly oh no I didn't move the ladder with the shine you can't really see it very good it's got like a little wrinkle in the middle but there wasn't much I was able to do about that after the fact but I love that much better than the brown door so much nicer so much more clean and then I couldn't get the corners right so I had to like kind of put that together I didn't love it but it'll do for now I'll figure something out later and then I put the XOXO backwards that I was taping it backwards so anyway so that's kind of what that'll look like all right guys so I am about to leave I got some of that stuff done in the lab and it is five so time to go home Hopefully you guys are having a great start to the year school year. Um, let us share with the, in the comments what, you know, the best part of your classroom prep has been so far. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.